Hello buddies! Today we will be diving into the movies of Dan Aykroyd. To date, his movies have made $4.5 billion. Kicking things off. The Gift of Winter. Released in 1974. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. The Beach Boys It's Okay. Released in 1976. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. The Beach Boys Good Vibrations Tour Released in 1976 Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. Love at First Sight Released in 1977 When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. The Rutless All You Need Is Cash Released in 1978 Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. The Blues Brothers Live at Winterland Released in 1978 We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. The Things We Did Last Summer Released in 1978 When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. 1941 Released in 1979 It made 95 million dollars. It was a winner. The Blues Brothers. Released in 1980. It made $115 million. It was a winner. Neighbors. Released in 1981. It made $30 million. It was a moneymaker. Steve Martin's Best Show Ever. Released in 1981. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. It came from Hollywood. Released in 1982. It made $2 million. It didn't make a profit. Trading Places. Released in 1983. It made $90 million. It was a big hit. Dr. Detroit. Released in 1983. It made $10 million. It was a success. The Coneheads. Released in 1983. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. Twilight Zone the movie. Released in 1983. It made $29 million. It was a big hit. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Released in 1984. It made $333 million. It was a winner. Ghostbusters. Released in 1984. It made $296 million. It was a blockbuster. Nothing Lasts Forever. Released in 1984. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Into the Night. Released in 1985. It made $7 million. It didn't make a profit. Spies Like Us. Released in 1985. It made $60 million. It was a blockbuster. Dragnet. Released in 1987. It made $67 million. It was a winner. Citizen Steve. Released in 1987. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. The Great Outdoors. Released in 1988. It made $43 million. It was a success. The Couch Trip. Released in 1988. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. My Stepmother is an Alien. Released in 1988. It made $14 million. It didn't make its money back. Kadashak 2. Released in 1988. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Driving Miss Daisy. Released in 1989. 
It made $146 million. It was a big hit. Ghostbusters 2. Released in 1989. It made $215 million. It was a hit. Loose Cannons. Released in 1990. It made $6 million. It was a winner. Masters of Menace. Released in 1990. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. My Girl. Released in 1991. It made $59 million. It was a winner. Nothing But Trouble. Released in 1991. It made $8 million. It didn't make a profit. Sneakers. Released in 1992. It made $105 million. It was a winner. Chaplin. Released in 1992. It made $9 million. It was a bust. This is my life. Released in 1992. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Two-Fisted Tales. Released in 1992. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Coneheads. Released in 1993. It made $21 million. It didn't make a profit. My Girl 2. Released in 1994. It made $28 million. It assessing success is not possible without budget or revenue data. North. Released in 1994. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Exit to Eden. Released in 1994. It made $7 million. It was a failure. The Best of the Blues Brothers. Released in 1994. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Tommy Boy. Released in 1995. It made $33 million. It we cannot establish success as budget or revenue data is missing. Casper. Released in 1995. It made $288 million. It was a big hit. Celtic Pride. Released in 1996. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Getting Away with Murder. Released in 1996. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. Sergeant Filco. Released in 1996. It made $38 million. It broke even. Feeling Minnesota. Released in 1996. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. My fellow Americans. Released in 1996. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Rainbow. Released in 1996. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Gross Point Blank. Released in 1997. It made $31 million. It was a moneymaker. The Arrow. Released in 1997. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. Heritage Minutes Avro Arrow. Released in 1997. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Blues Brothers 2000. Released in 1998. It made $14 million. It didn't make its money back. Ants. Released in 1998. It made $172 million. It was a money maker. Susan's Plan. Released in 1998. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. 
Diamonds. Released in 1999. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. Saturday Night Live Christmas. Released in 1999. Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. Tales from the Crypt The Robert Zemeckis Collection. Released in 1999. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. The House of Mirth. Released in 2000. It made $5 million. It didn't make a profit. Stardom. Released in 2000. Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. Loser. Released in 2000. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Pearl Harbor. Released in 2001. It made $449 million. It was a blockbuster. The Curse of the Jade Scorpion. Released in 2001. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Earth vs. the Spider. Released in 2001. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Evolution. Released in 2001. It made $98 million. It was a success. On the Nose. Released in 2001. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. Crossroads. Released in 2002. It made $61 million. It was a winner. Unconditional Love. Released in 2002. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Shortcut to Happiness. Released in 2003. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Bright Young Things. Released in 2003. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. 50 First Dates. Released in 2004. It made $196 million. It was a blockbuster. Christmas with the Cranks. Released in 2004. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. White Coats. Released in 2004. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Released in 2007. It made $187 million. It was a winner. War Incorporated. Released in 2008. It made $1 million. It was a flop. Yogi Bear. Released in 2010. It made $204 million. It was a big hit. Presidential Reunion. Released in 2010. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. The Campaign. Released in 2012. It made $105 million. It broke even. Behind the Candelabra. Released in 2013. It made $16 million. It was a dud. Saturday Night Live Thanksgiving. Released in 2013. We lacked the financial data when this video was assembled. Legends of Oz Dorothy's Return. Released in 2014. It made $19 million. It was a flop. Tammy. Released in 2014. It made $100 million. It was a winner. Get On Up. Released in 2014. It made $33 million. It broke even. Pixels. Released in 2015. 
It made $245 million. It was a moneymaker. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Released in 2021. It made $191 million. It was a blockbuster. Zombie Town. Released in 2023. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Released in 2024. It made $176 million. It was a success. Thanks for watching our video on Dan Aykroyd. What's your favorite Dan Aykroyd movie? Who would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.